You know, a lot of people say drugs are bad, but, you know, those people, right? Sorry about that. You know, you don't have to hear from me that drugs are bad. Okay. You get told all the time. By your parents, at school, and more importantly, it's everywhere in the media. News networks are constantly covering stories on the topic, be it the long-lasting and seemingly never-ending war on drugs, to people getting life in prison for having some marijuana. Because as we all should know, pot is just as bad as murder. Now, drugs have always been an issue in this world, but we never really started addressing it in the media until the 80s, warning kids about the dangers of drugs with brilliant, brilliant PSAs like this. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Genius. Absolutely genius. I mean, if I didn't want to do drugs before, I sure as hell don't want to do them now with that science you just hit me with. Then there was the one starring the Ninja Turtles. Hey, Joey! I got some stuff you just gotta try. What is it? Pot. You know, marijuana. Joey's in a jam. What should he do? Okay. Get a pizza! Excellent! Get a pizza! Get real! Now to be fair, if Joey were to hit that, pizza would be a much better option than teachers. Much better. I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. What the fuck did you just say, Joey? I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. I'm not a chicken. You're a turkey. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It makes as much sense as calling someone a chicken. I mean, are chickens known to be cowardly? I mean, I would assume they're just as cowardly as any other bird out there. But still, Joey, if that is your best comeback, maybe you should have just done the weed. I mean, maybe you should have just done the weed, because at least you would have been cool. He's right! Drug dealers are dorks! Don't even talk to them! Cowabunga! Now, as you can tell, a lot of these commercials had somewhat of a comedic effect, even though we were meant to be taking them seriously. They also only covered marijuana for the most part. It wasn't until recent years though that we started covering harder drugs like meth. And those commercials had somewhat slightly different of a tone. Leave me alone! Stop. I no, said leave me alone! Talk to Just talk. shut up! Oh. Yes. Let me in! Let me in! I'm gonna kill you! No, 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 stop, stop! Get away from me! I don't like you, scared, just stop! Back to our main topic though. We've already been exposed to drugs so many times through the number one gateway drug there is. Video gaming. Whether it be the acid you take in GTA 5 or the mushrooms you're munching down in the Mushroom Kingdom, not even the fictional world of video games are safe from the plethora of drugs to be found. I mean, even arcade cabinets in the 80s were self-aware of the problem, telling us every time that winners don't do drugs. Which is why we're gonna take a look at my favorite drug trips in video games. Is that morally wrong? Okay, we're gonna do it anyway. Starting off our list is something you shouldn't do even if you were sober, unless you've had years upon years of proper training. Hospital stuff. More specifically, being a surgeon. Surgeon Simulator is probably one of the funniest games ever released. You take control of a surgeon's arm and, well, attempt to perform surgery. I use the word attempt because, uh, he's not feeling better anytime soon. I appreciate how real this game is. I mean, even if I was given perfect control of the doctor, this is probably how useful I'd still be. And if this already wasn't super difficult, there are points where there'll be a random syringe laying there, and if you accidentally touch it... <laughs> yup, the acid trip in Surgeon Simulator. Because the last thing you need, aside from me doing your life-saving operation, is me tripping the hell out while doing your life-saving operation. Hey buddy, hey buddy don't, don't worry buddy, buddy. You're, gonna, you're gonna be okay, let's just, uh, just gotta fix you up. Do I need this? I, I don't think I need this right now, but we're gonna use it. Okay, well that, that didn't exactly work out. Let's do something else! Let's become cops! Let's be cops, the movie! Let's become an officer of the law! Now a lot of you may already be aware of NARC, the anti-drug arcade game where you went out on the corrupt streets to find drug dealers and... <clears throat> enforce the law. It's just like real life. But there was also a fully redone 2005 remake of the game for the PlayStation 2. Is it any good? Yes. 
I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not great, but I mean, it keeps up with the spirit of enforcing the law. However, here's where the game takes a weird turn. When you arrest a dealer, you can confiscate his drugs. This is where you can either hand them over to the evidence team, or keep them for yourself for future use. I think that might just slightly, COMPLETELY defeat the purpose of what this game is about! But you know what? Who cares? I've had a long day of... justice. Let's do some drugs. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a pretty fun trip. How about just one more? One more and I'm done, I promise. I don't think I'm feeling so good right now. Let's play some lollipop chainsaw. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's the drugs talking. Hey, mushrooms like Mario Brothers. Let's chop this up. I got a fucked up chicken monster. A, a fucking giant chicken? I don't think I have any words for this. Alright, I've had enough of these messed up trips. Let's play some Yoshi's Island to calm the nerves and maybe even put us in a happy mood. Ah, <sighs> this game really does put the mind at ease. The bright and beautiful colors, the happy music, the adorable baby riding horseback on an even more adorable dinosaur. Even enemies that try to be scary fall nothing short of adorable. Yep, nothing is gonna put a damper on my sober... What's that right there? <sighs> Should've seen that coming. It's my fault. Now this obviously shouldn't have been a surprise to anybody. I mean, especially since the level itself is called Tush Fuzzy Get Dizzy. I mean, that was a good indication I was in for something. This was probably my first experience with drugs and video games. And it's on a Nintendo console. That's right, the family-friendly Nintendo console has a game where a dinosaur ingests some wild plant, his eyes then get dilated as all hell, loses control of his movement, and goes through a colorful acid trip. It's for the kids. This is just so out of place for a Nintendo game. It's kind of like if you were to play Kirby and then out of nowhere, a prostitute was trying to sell herself to you. It doesn't fit in. Alright, I think one more should do before I have to like, you know, check myself into a loony house. It's a game from one of my favorite RPGs, Mother 3. I don't, I don't own a physical copy of the game, so you know, just pretend that that's really it right there. It's a perfect illusion, it's perfect. Well, aren't we in for a treat? I've already been through so much, I don't even know what to say anymore. Okay, so we have giant eye and mouth monster, as well as mushroom monster that undoubtedly, and you know this, looks like certain male anatomy. And that's where I have to draw the line. When kids younger than me start doing drugs in video games, I really need to start questioning my moral ground. However, that trip wasn't really a great one to end on. So for your viewing pleasure, let's take a look at one more game, P.T. Fucking hate this game, it scares me. Oh no, it's traveling in this spooky scary house. I think someone needs to make a quick call to Merry Maids. Let's go down the stairs and what? We're back to where we started and the mind is blown. Yep, that doesn't pass health codes. Okay, so we have a gross baby fetus thing talking to me. So you drowned your sorrows in booze. She had to get a part-time job. Oh yeah? Well fuck you, I can do voices too! <laughs> Name Shpeta. I just wanted to do a voice also. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. And that's my PT experience. And yes, all of that was a defense mechanism, because I am fucking terrified of this game. Don't be a bitch. And that's about as much drugs as I should probably be handling, you know, according to my prescription here. Now, it's obvious you shouldn't be doing hard drugs, but these games don't really drive that point home. I know they weren't designed to do that, but if anything, they make drugs look awesome. That's a good lesson for the kids, huh? That's why our generation is fucked 